Hello, I'm Sean Higgins, editor for Spar3D.com and the Spar3D newsletter. I'm here at Spar3D 2018 in the, the Bentley booth, where as I understand you have a, uh, a few uh, pretty exciting announcements. Do you want to you tell me what you're showing off today? Absolutely, Sean. Thank you very much for uh, coming here. Yeah, we are uh, showcasing two new innovative products at uh, Bentley Systems. You know that we've been launching uh, reality modeling solutions a couple of years back. Uh, we are progressing in this direction, uh, supporting our you know, endeavor to making reality modeling more mainstream for our users. And two new projects are coming. The first uh, announcement is that we come with a cloud processing service, which is uh, fastest processing service in the cloud ever, which is able to parallelize the processing. So you just upload your photos, you upload your point clouds, and several engines in the cloud will automatically extract the geometry. That's the first announcement. That's very easy for users. They don't have to invest in clusters, in PCs. They don't have to administrate those pieces. So just go in the cloud, put your data, get your 3D model. We host the models as well, we index the models, and we control the access to the model, because that's very important too, to be able to share the model once it's ready. So this is a, a, a next move into a visual operations, putting this in the cloud, making it available for users to visualize the 3D models, reality meshes, engineering ready reality meshes in the cloud on the browser. Next step, which is coming next fall, is how do we classify this mesh? Okay, it's good to have a mesh that you can digest and consume in all the Bentley products, because any scale of the mesh, you can open the mesh in MicroStation, you can open the mesh in Open Roads Designer, in Concept Station, and you can start your designing process. But it's very important too, to be able to classify, to tell where are your key assets, and let the field engineers, field technicians, you know, retrieve the right device, the right equipment they have to inspect so that they can save money during their operations. So, so as, as you start to talk about visual operations, I mean, what sort of, what sort of technologies you know, would, would Bentley put to work in order to make this possible for your customers? So we're working on two different approaches. The first approach is um, manual. I mean, we rely on the engineers because they know the type of equipment they're looking for. They know the type of equipment and assets they have in their plants, uh, in their uh, facilities. So those guys can just visualize a 3D mesh that has been produced from photos and point clouds together in the cloud or on-premise and then published in the cloud. And then they just can create bounding boxes around those equipment saying this equipment is that type of equipment and they can link it back to the inspection history to the database, and then they make it ready for the people just visualizing it during their operations. So pe people in the field using their smartphone and looking at the 3D model, clicking on, on an equipment, looking at its uh, inspection history, looking at the maintenance uh, documents, and just doing their job. Okay, so that's exactly what we are um, doing in the first approach, which is manual. We help people to collaboratively um, contribute to classifying the mesh. The second approach is a little bit more rocket science that's, uh, you know, related to the very trendy AI, artificial intelligence, where we are having a team working on automatically classifying objects. This means that we're going to be detecting, for instance, automatically antennas on the cell tower in the photos, in the 3D, and we're going to be automatically creating a 3D model of these boxes with all the antennas so that the cell towers operators or owners operators can identify where are their antennas, what type of antenna, and where do they have space for more antennas, which is a way for them to increase their revenues. So one of the discussions that comes up a lot when people talk about AI is, you know, what's the, is there still going to be space for the human? in this process, and it, it sounds like for Bentley, there's definitely going to still be a space for the, the skilled operator in this kind of process. Absolutely, uh, and I think that's a global approach. Uh, the same way we are saying to our users, don't make hard decisions, we don't oppose it, we don't put in opposition uh, laser scanning and photogrammetry. We say to our users, take the best of the two worlds. We exactly say the same, take the best of the, of the two approaches. Uh, the automatically classifying approach is not ready. Okay, It's not working in, in any domain so far, and there's a lot of companies in the world investing a lot of money in the cloud trying to do this, but it's not ready now. So we're going that direction. 
that's our vision for the future, but what do we offer to our users in the meantime? We need to be really practical, okay? And the practical approach is to provide this solution to the user so that they can start classifying their assets, do the uh, asset re uh, registration, start their beam models and beam integration together with it very quickly, okay? And uh, not wait for the uh, AI to be ready. So. I mean, where, where will users be able to, to learn more about this and where, where will they get an opportunity to sort of see this in, see this in action? You mean what, what type of domain? Or what type of industry? No, I mean, uh, you know, will, will, this be, uh, will this be on display at year in infrastructure? Will this? Absolutely, yes. Yeah, we're going to be launching it for a year in infrastructure. We have a tech preview, which is, we, we'll be ready by the end of this quarter. Uh, that would be internal, and we're going to be, uh, you know, um, having some users being part of the early, early adopter program, but the real launch would be uh, a year in infrastructure, and I'm sure you'll be covering this pretty well, Sean. I will. I'll be there. <laughs>